Welcome into another edition of the Friday Frenzy. Phil Bonatti with Luke Gamble. Mine up joining us a little bit later. And Luke, tonight we have some huge games in Class B basketball. Yeah, that's right. And we start with a ranked matchup on the boys' side. Number eight, Flasher at home for an out-of-region contest against number 10, Bowman County. The Battle of the Bulldogs, a matchup that definitely didn't disappoint with the hype. We jump to the second quarter. Bowman County's Bowden Duffield going to work, crisscrossing, zigging and zagging, spinning around on his way to two of his 25 points. Flasher down one. Jace Freeze with a dime to Joey Richter, the big fella getting some love as Flasher retakes the lead. But back comes Bowman, poking it away as Carson Massey and his boys go to work. It finds the hands of Aiden Thompson from the wing, and he finds the bottom of the net. Time winding down in the half. Braxton Haxton Bueller answering the call, the drive, and the lay in. As time expires, Flasher pulls out the win 71 67. Our other big match of the night, number seven, Powers Lake hosting the Stanley Blue Jays. Big District 16 battle in the first quarter, tied up. Stanley's Tristan Johnson. Goes for three, bounces up, but Cal Sorensen there with the one hit of ground and puts it back for the Blue Jay lead. On the other end, Stanley saying they need to stop this guy, Tyson Angett, but he keeps making shots like this three-pointer heading into the second quarter. The energy in the barn was on another level. Look at Josh Hetzel with the steal, takes it all the way down the other way. It swirls into the rim there, into the rim there but able to fall in. Back and forth game tonight. Rancher showing why they're ranked. Ain't get a bed's bounce pass to an easy layup there. Another nail biter, but Powers Lake stays undefeated 46 43. The Surrey Mustangs hosting Mohaw Lansford Sherwin in a District 12 battle. Third quarter, Mustangs with an eight point lead. William Mayo with the rebound and the putback spreading that Surrey lead a little more. Mustangs with the ball again. Lucas Vollmer with the shot blocked by Jacob Unlin, the senior, trying to keep his team in it. A little later in this one, a scramble for the ball. MLS coming out with it. The pass to Steele Olsen for the layup. Mavs chipping away, but Surrey wins it 65-54. to At WDA basketball, Legacy back at home hosting Turtle Mountain. Sabres up by double digits, but look at this play by Houston Davis. Drawn the double team. How about this no-look pass to Gunnar Zur? He had a few of those tonight. Legacy lights out from three-point range. A school record, 16 of them on this one, including seven from Logan Wetzel, also a school record. What a night. Legacy wins, 86-62. Sabres taking control of the court tonight. Alyssa Eckroth to Elise Blazik. That's the same matchup on the girls' side. You see as Eckroth to Blazik in the first points of the game, making it look easy. The Brevets putting up a fight on defense, though. Eckroth with the pass to Kaylee Donhauer, who sees an opening. Takes the shot, grabbing another easy three for the Sabres, and they go on to pick up the big win, 83-35. Bismarck boys back in action as well. They're hosting the Williston Coyotes off a missed three from Williston. Isaiah St. Romain with the rebound, dribbles out to the corner, fires a three home. It's good. Wilson hanging in there on the road. Demons playing with speed, though. Carter Sims misses the first shot, able to fight for his own rebound, putting it back in. Demons get it done at home, 96 77, they get the win. So another great night of basketball, Luke. Yeah, that's right. But stay with us. Plenty more to come, including a busy night on the ice. But first, a look at scores from around the region. 